Hey guys, what's going on? Stank here. Welcome to a short tutorial on MC Majin. Hope you all are having a good day, and you have a few minutes to go check out this tutorial. Um, there's been a lot of confusion from people on how to actually download and compile their mods, and um, it's been worse with the latest version of Minecraft um, Mod Generator because I haven't updated all the tutorials, and the reason for that is is because I'm going through a process of finishing up version 1.0, uh, of the program, which is kind of was a major rewrite, and I'm kind of cleaning things up, making it more efficient and easier to update for myself in the future. And um, so I don't want to write any help documentation quite yet because I might change things drastically, you know, in a month, whenever 1.74 or 1.8 comes out. So I want to get a kind of solid version set, and then I will write my documentation good for everyone. But for now, um, I'm going to have this tutorial up for anyone needed. So, you can go to mcmodgen.com. Right now, I'm running actually off a local instance of the site. Uh, but you will just go to mcmodgen.com. And you'll want to hit login or register if you're not already registered. So, you're going to log in here. And I think I tapped my login wrong, actually. This is going to be embarrassing. No, I didn't. And you have all your projects up here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, 6.0. Uh, and uh, we'll go here. And I have a whole project set up. I'm not going to go through that process. That's pretty straightforward. And then what I'm going to want to do is go to download link here at the top. And this will bring me to a page with um, the downloads. And now there's only two options right now uh, for Minecraft Forge version 1.64 Mod Loader 1.62. Um, in the future, um, what we'll do is when I have 1.7 ready, it'll be here on the left side. And then um, down here, there'll be the links for the previous versions. So let's say when 1.9 rolls around, you want to make a mod that you can release back a little few versions back because you know mods usually fall behind a version or two of Minecraft so you want to make a mod for some um, people that are still playing on 1.6 maybe some of the old Technic pack stuff or 1.5 for that so um, you want to release that well there'll be options for people to roll back um, you'll always be able to download the latest version with how I've redone the system for downloading now um, whereas before you could not do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and download the one, Forge 1.6 version 4 version for the purpose of this tutorial so this is going to bring me to a page, which I'm going to redo the look of this page here pretty soon. Um, but what you're going to want to do, um, I have all the downloads in case you just edit one file. But what you're really going to want to do is just scroll in here to the bottom hit download zip archive. And actually I'm going to right click on it and do save link as and just put it on my desktop. So I'm just going to save it over this folder I actually have right here and replace it. Yes, I want to replace it. All right. And then you have your whole mod downloaded. And the problem with this is that I'll show you. I'll go ahead and do this now, actually. We'll go ahead and bring it over here. We'll extract it here to my desktop and open it up. So where lots of the confusion comes from here is that people have these Java files, which you can see this is the code that MC Modgen just generated for my mod. See, you have these Java files, and lots of people don't know what to do with them um, because they try to throw them in their Minecraft jar, that zip archive, um, because MC Modgen does not compile for you. I cannot make it compile for you. So the next thing you want to do is go to Files, dot minecraft forge dot net all right so look over here on the left side under promotions and you'll see 1.64 latest or 1.64 recommendation recommended um this might change in the future well it will change in the future depending on what minecraft version but for now we're gonna get the 1.64 recommended i always recommend getting the recommend recommended versions because that's what i test mc Majin on um whenever i do updates so click on the thing that says src on the left side i'm gonna get back go back go back, go back. leave page I want to just save it to my desktop. So, saving this, and, uh, oh, you're going to be that way. You're going to be that way. I see how it is. I see. I see how it is. All right, so we're just going to hit source here, and my phone's totally not going off. I just got a text message. Oh, baby. Oh, and it's another one. Probably my boss. All right, so we're going to save here, and that just went to my downloads, but whatever. All right, so as far as we're concerned, we're done with that. So let's go ahead and swing over here to my downloads. And grab up Forge here. Alright. We'll just throw Forge here on my desktop. And replace the one I already have downloaded. Alright. And we'll throw it over here. Okay. So we don't need to have this open right now. It's not important. Alright. So file. Uh, 7-zip. And extract here. Extract it to my desktop. So that's going to take just a minute to extract. And as that happens, I'm totally not going to look over at my phone to see what my boss texted me. <coughs> oh, okay. We're done. Good. Alright. So then, you'll have this for file here, Forge 1.64, or whatever your numbers are at the end. You want to click on that, double click on Forge, and then you want to go down, and you'll see this thing called install.command. Now, if you're on a Linux machine, I think Mac too, you're going to need to run this install.sh from the command line, or um, console, I think it's called on Macs. So, 
Um, you don't need to run those, but I'm on Windows 7 right now, so we're going to run install.cmd. So, uh, we're going to let this run, and I'll be right back. <sighs> so, after a long and painful process, it's done. So, then you're going to go into this MCP folder right here, and you'll see all this stuff here. And everything should all be set up for you um, for making your mod. These files down here, if you're on Windows, you can go ahead and delete all your SH files because you're not going to need them. Uh, and all that, like a change log. I sometimes delete them, sometimes I don't care. Um, every once in a while, if, I'm, if I know I'll be working with a mod for a long time, then uh, I just don't want it in my way. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these for now. And uh, we'll have our folder here. So we'll just go throw it over there. And um, we'll go to my desktop real fast. So over here, uh, we have our mod. And it's Nick, Knack, Test Project, all that. All right. So what we want to do is grab all these here. And we can see that this is called mod underscore 6.0. And it's good to expect it um, to be under a folder called that. So what we're going to do is go to under our source, Minecraft, net. Uh, wait. Now I can't remember where you put it. Now, now, I, now I've lost it. I think it's right here. And what you're going to do is I'm going to create something called mod underscore 6.0 and throw all those files in there. And then I'm going to go back to my root directory. And all you got to do, I went back too far. Got to go back to MCB. Sorry. All you got to do is hit recompile. And it's going to go. So, assuming I've done everything right, which I may have put that folder in the wrong spot, uh, because it's been like a few months since I've done this. Uh, definitely need to get back into the swing of things here. So, do do do, come on, baby, come on, baby, just recompile. There we go, recompile without any errors. All right, then you're gonna want to find this file called reobfuscate, and it's um, again, if you're on a Mac or Linux, you're gonna have to run this from the console. Uh, Windows, you can just run a batch file. All right. And we're going to enter, and we're done. All right, so then all you got to do, all that's left, go into your reobfuscate folder, and you got this mod 6.0. So you want to take this and file, send to, compress zip folder. And then I like to just, I don't know, I like to make it a jar file. It's the same thing, basically. And take it out. So take this jar file, and I'm going to go to file, I mean, run, and I'm going to percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. Go into my dot minecraft go into mods my minecraft is a mess right now and we're gonna throw it right in here and i actually already got that same mod in there <laughs> um we'll just go well i don't i don't know why that one's in there so i'm just gonna throw it on my desktop for now just so i have a backup of it just in case and we should be all set but once again i may have done a thing wrong or two in here so uh, be prepared so i'm using magic launcher to run um to give me a quick selection of my mods i'll put a link to this down in the description below i'm gonna hit set up here and then it's gonna it's gonna freeze up, which is it's it's not not a typical thing. And I don't know what's going on here. All right, cool. And I'm gonna go ahead. All my options. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go to MC Mod and Forge. That's what I'm using for MC Mod testing. I'm gonna make sure here my environment. I have Forge set up. Um, this is not a tutorial how to set up Forge. Um, if you want to know how to set up Minecraft Forge, you can find a tutorial on that. And I'm gonna make sure I have Mod 6.0 checked down here. So I'm gonna hit OK, and I'm gonna hit OK, and then I'm gonna hit Launch. I don't. I I had some opened up two options because I'm, I wasn't paying attention. So, get rid of that for a moment, and Minecraft's going to load up 1.74, um, just for the sake of this, let's, let's not be, not be using a texture pack, and all we need to do here is, I'll just load this world here, that already has the mod, and I believe I have too many items on this as well, uh, on the, this my testing jar, and here is one of the things for, from, that's actually a chain helmet, scratch that, scratch that hole, here's one of the things from the mod. So, I made a really hysterical mistake. You gotta go in here, in the configuration, I actually gotta select the um, setup that I put together. So, really awesome job there for me. Uh, I have my show cons my show log on, I mean, um, in case I did want to see that. Uh, I don't, as it is, but whatever. So, there we go. We, we were on uh, 1.7 there. I thought that was weird. And So, there. Boom. Okay. There we go. Single player. And we should actually have the mod now. Uh, which is a step up. So, here we are. So, there's, there's already crops planted for when I was doing testing beforehand uh, on the mod, this specific mod. Uh, but what we can do, um, there's no textures in place as yet. Um, as you can see, I have play item right there. If I open up my inventory here, I have too many items on. So, if we go over here uh, on page two, this mod adds three blocks. Play block is a block that I programmed in using MC Mod Gen. Play plant and play plant plant, um, which 
that title should not always be that goofy, but I put plant at the end, so it already, um, it doubled the word plant, which is a goofy thing on my part. Those should not be like this, um, uh, and really you should be able to place them anyways. Uh, but they're, they're not textured, like I said. So, anyhow, so these crops do actually grow and all that. Um, they're not stuck. Whenever you break these, you get seeds, and these seeds you can go as, um, as you're supposed to. Go up to any spot where there's supposed to be crops, and we'll break some these, and plant the seeds. We have our play item here. If we want over here, we got our um, tool sets. We got some armor sets here. So helmet, um, chest plate, leggings, boots. We can equip all these. Um, like I said, no textures in place, so um, you can't see it. Oh, hello, buddy. Hey, you want to feel the wrath of the yummy sword, which is 24 attack damage? Yeah, that's what I thought. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come on, come at me, bro. There you are. Ah! Still my dirt block. Now he's making scary sound. Mm. Anyways, so yeah, that is how you um, recompile, download all Forge, mod, Forge, MC Mod Gen Mod, and all that, and then recompile it, or compile it, not recompile, but, and then set it all up and all that fun stuff, and then now you can play with it. And if you want, all you gotta do to give that mod to someone is send them that little jar file. Or if you wanna upload it to your website or something, uh, that's all you gotta do. It's really easy. And, yeah, so I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful um, getting your mod all set up and all that. So, if you have, how about you pound that like button down below. Let me know if it was helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to leave them over at the Minecraft forum. Uh, I will not be good about replying to comments on this video in particular. So, uh, please leave it at the Minecraft forum topic. I can leave a link to that down in the description below as well. And all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I won't drag this tutorial out anymore with just me talking. So, Thanks, and I'll see you all next time, I guess, so bye-bye.